My topic happens to be the factors affecting the success rate of black-owned businesses in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And one of the reasons that kind of led me to do this topic is the fact that I grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I kind of seen the void of black businesses that tend to thrive past the five years of initial, you know, beginning. So I kind of wanted to, to gauge what obstacles I may face when one day starting my own business. And I plan to interview 10 smaller black-owned businesses as well as 10 larger black-owned businesses to gauge the perceptions of what they believe are the obstacles that they both tend to deal with. One of my hypotheses happens to be the fact that uh, African-American businesses tend to not thrive well in their own, in their own uh, area. So with that being said, I found out 88%, 88.3% of all black-owned businesses reside in low-income African-American communities. With that being said, you can clearly see that the competitive, the competitive level for black on for black businesses both is definitely a high one, and they also have to compete with other ethnic groups as well as large corporations such as Walmart, Century, things of that nature. So they definitely get undermined by other corporations in the area. One of the things that I kind of found is the fact that some of the data I haven't found much recent data from the from the past few years. So I kind of don't know where to go with that. I kind of know that it could possibly mean that I need to go a little deeper or it could mean that this, this topic has not been researched further than where it is now. Well, the impact for me personally, I'm actually a, Alpha, a member of Alpha Five Fraternity Incorporated. So what I like to do is to bring back all the knowledge that I gain and take it back to my community. So if I can gauge the obstacles that I'll deal with when I build my own business, I feel like it will only do nothing but great things to help my community and the younger generation who wants to open theirs, their business as well. Because you need to feel like you have an outline of where you need to go. And for me, this is my outline. For communities, I hope to hopefully gauge and uh, gain more African-American businesses that last beyond the first five years of growth. And I want them to venture out from the typical traditional African-American businesses the barbershops, the salons, the janitorial staff, the mom and pop stores. We need to do better and we need to move higher and build a legacy so that it can continue to get passed on to, to further generations. It definitely should be some regulations to kind of maybe help, help in the advancement of these black owned businesses and maybe help with the capital that they're able to receive in order to sustain their growth. Because many uh, businesses aren't able to sustain their growth because they don't have the capital to continue to thrive past the first five years. Because typically, you don't make much money within your first five years of building your business. So if they have the capital and maybe if legislative uh, branches are able to help them in that aspect, it might be able to help black businesses grow in these large metropolitan cities such as Milwaukee, Wisconsin.